Hi everyone, it's Gwen from Rustic Diva Design and I'm here with another tutorial or uh, the page tutorial for the Hunt Fish Camp mini album. Um, so this video will be part two of the video series. So there's a walkthrough video. Um, I'm sorry, so the walkthrough video, <clears throat> the tutorial parts um, will be the making the cover and the base pages and then this video of putting the flips and flaps on the pages and then um gluing the pages to the spine so there'll be four videos total so this is where we're going to um put all the pages together and uh, go from there so let's get into it first this is the hunt fish camp paper collection, paper bundle that's available in my Etsy shop. I will link all that in the video description. So let's get going right to it. So we're going to first start with page one. Um, the base pages you've already made, and that's in the lay flat cover tutorial that goes with this um, tutorial series. So once you have your base pages all made, now um, take those and we're going to put all the... Um, flaps and pockets and all that stuff on. So we're gonna start with page one, A, which is this um, <clears throat> top flap that has a pocket and then two flaps on either side of the page. So let me just move this quick. I'm gonna leave it here for reference like I always do and grab our materials. So page one A, let me just tell you, has a left flap. You're going to need a piece of college, solid cardstock that measures four and a half by 12. And you're gonna score it at one half, three fourths, and seven and a half. And I'll show you that. And then the right flap is four by seven and a half, which is also scored at one half. And then the left flap is going to be seven and a half, I'm sorry, five by seven and a half and scored at one half. So let's start with the top flap. And you're going to, I'm gonna take this apart here, put this in your scoreboard with the 12 inches at the top. And we're going to score at one half, three fourths, just to give it a little gusset here. And then at seven and a half, so that we can fold it up and make the pocket. Okay. Then let's just get all of our scoring done. So I'm gonna take the left flap, that's five by seven and a half, with the five at the top, I'm going to score it at a half. And then the right flap with the four at the top. What do I need? This way. I'm going to do it this way, upside down. Score it at a half. Now we have all of our scoring done for uh, page 1A. So, first of all, we're going to put our flaps on and in this case you know you have this top flap here that opens and then this opens and this opens so we're going to glue this at the top and then these are going to glue to the sides so let's start with the left and the right flap first take our base page here which is um, got the side pocket on the right and then your hinge is on the left. So I'm gonna start with the left flap. Score. And then I like to just miter the corners. So that's the left flap that's gonna go on this side the right flap, 
same thing. Score and trim these. So now we have those. Oh, and I forgot to get my glue bottle going. My, uh, my pin likes to stay in there really nice, so I have to use this little tool I have to get it out of there if I don't use my glue very often. Let's just get that going. So I'm going to start with the left flap. And we're just going to line this up right next to um, the score line here. Not on top of it, just right next to it. So I'm going to turn the page so that I can see where I'm lining this up. And again, I made the pages in um, the other tutorial with the artisan cardstock, the brown, that coffee brown. Um, so that's why my pages in this tutorial are white because I already did that. So just gluing that down and then the same with the right flap. I'm just going to turn it and that's going to go all the way to this edge. And then you can use, before you really press it down good, you can use your pages as a guide to get it straight so that everything lines up. And just press that down. And there you have your two flaps. And now we just need to put on the top flap. So we're going to fold on all of our score lines. And I use this white paper. It's I always call it practice paper because it's a little bit more it's not as heavy as the artisan cardstock. For one, I don't want to use all my artisan cardstock because it's nice paper. And for two, it's on white so you can see my writing. So we have our two folds at the top, and then we're just going to fold this score up to make our pocket. So you can um, either decorate first, put your pattern paper in, then glue your sides down. Um, so if you do it that way, we're just gluing this to make a pocket so that I can get that out of the way for the next step. And I have my mark here on the wrong spot for the magnet I see. So I did bring my eraser, so ignore that. I'll just erase it. Because there is going to be a magnet. Okay, so let's bring this back in. And I'm just sort of eyeballing this. Um, I'm kind of going to eyeball it this way to make sure. Yeah, because our magnet is going on the left on the on the left flap on the top. So just eyeball it. Kind of, I'm centering it in the page in the middle of the page, and I forgot to. Oops, sorry, I usually miter the corners. I'm gonna try and do that with some glue on here, sorry. There, it's sorta. Anyway, miter your corners. It just makes for a cleaner line 
when you're covering it up with pattern paper. Get some glue on there. Okay. So just at the top, and you're only putting glue on that half inch section, not the gusset part. And then right at the top of the page, we're just gonna glue that down. Okay, so now you have the right flap, the left flap, this is in the wrong spot too. So your magnet is gonna go like here and here to keep that flap down. So before you put your pattern paper down, be sure to put your magnets on right here and down on the left flap. And that is page 1A. And then again, you have your side pocket. And I'll go through the, the mats, too, um, that fit in the pockets. Page 2, I'm sorry, page 1B. Let's look at it. I'm going to put my pin and my glue so we don't have a disaster. Page 1B has, it's just a pocket page with this photo booklet in the inside. So this is pretty simple. We're just making a regular pocket. So that measures your solid cardstock for your pocket measures five and a half by eight and a half. And you're going to score on three sides at one half inch. And then the photo booklet, if you want to make a photo booklet like I have in mine, you'll need a piece of solid cardstock that measures seven by eight and a half. And you'll score it at three and a half with eight and eight and a half at the top. And then I rounded the corners on mine. So I'll do that. So let's get the scoring portion of this. So this is our pocket. And so with the five and a half at the top, I'm just scoring at a half inch here. Turn it, score at a half, and then on the other side, score at a half. It's just a basic pocket like we make all the time. And then the photo booklet with the eight and a half at the top, score at three and a half. And then you'll round your corners. So now we're just making a pocket. So I'm just cutting these uh, cutting just right through the score line here and then at the top just giving it a little miter and then we just need to fold on our score lines And then we have our pocket. So I always check mine to make sure that I cut it right. And this time I did. So that's great. <clears throat> so the pocket goes on the right-hand side of the page. So when we're gluing it down, I'm just going to turn it so that I can line it up right to the edge of that score line where our, the gusset line is here. So I just start with the, the bottom tab of the pocket, glue that down first, 
and I have this flap underneath. And again, my paper is a little bit flimsy, so yours won't be if you're using nice heavy paper to when you're making your album for real. So I'm just trying to get this straight and up to that score line there. And once you have it where you want it, glue that piece down and then you have your pocket. So what I like to do is before I glue the pocket down all the way, I like to put my pattern paper in here first, um, which means I'm saving my some of my scrapbook paper, not using a whole piece. So I'll measure in, and if it if I'm making this book, I don't remember what I did on this, but I'll probably measure a piece of scrapbook paper that's three inches wide by seven and three eighths inches long. And then I'll put the pattern paper down, then glue the pocket down, okay? And to keep your pockets nice before, because you're not putting pattern paper all the way through, so I just use some tape. And because this is a little bit longer and this tape, I've learned, <laughs> likes to give me trouble, just take a piece of tape and tape it to the bottom of that pocket so that you're covering up that little lip there where we glued it down. And then things will slide in and out a lot easier. So now that I did that, I can just glue up the sides of my pocket here. Like so. And again, I have that other element on the other side. Okay, and so then for the photo booklet, all you're doing is folding on your score line round the corners if you want and decorate it as you want um, however you want to do that and then that just slips in here into our pocket and again this paper likes to give me troubles. The nice paper doesn't do that. So then our photo booklet is just in this pocket like so. Well, it will be, it will be. Sorry, I promise you it works because I already did it once <laughs> with nice paper. There we go. Okay, you get the idea. It's gonna slip in there. It's just because I have this all there. Okay, sorry. You know, there's always a blooper or two. Something goes on here. And there's your photo booklet. So page one is finished. 1A and 1B, okay? Page two, this is simple. We just have a belly band on the front of page two. So page two A is just the wide belly band. So let me grab this here. And move the rest out of the way. So page two A, your belly band is going to be three by eight and a half, and you're gonna score at one half inch on each end, okay? Just to make that belly band. So that's an easy thing to do. So I just put it in my scoreboard, and you can do half an inch and at eight, or you can turn it and score it again at a half an inch, however you wanna do it, as long as you get your half inch in there. Fold on your score lines. And 
And then again, I like to uh, miter mine. Just give it that a little snip. And then we're just gonna center that in the middle of this page. So I like to start with the top tab and I'm just eyeballing, but we're gonna get in the middle of the page here. So if you wanted to measure, you could, um, but we're gonna get close in this tutorial. So just lining things up, making sure it's straight and at the top of the page where it needs to be and then gluing it down. Now, a lot of times I will, um, with belly bands, I'll decorate my page first. So in this case, this is the photo mat. So let's take this out so you can see what's under here. So in, um, <clears throat> I double matted my um, page underneath the belly band here. So you can decorate however you need to um, or want to. And then put your pattern paper, put your belly band down at the top, decorate, put your pattern paper, and then glue the remainder of your belly band on. So once you have your pattern paper down, then you just glue that bottom tab to the page and it's done. And I'm going to show you my um, belly band or my photo mat that's inside of here. So we're just making sure it's straight and down and then gluing that down. So the photo mat that I put in this belly band, again, in the walkthrough, I tell you, I wanted to make it fit nice and tight. Um, so I made mine, I'll give you the dimensions here. This is a seven by seven and three eighths mat that slides underneath the belly band here. And it, it does, I promise, because I had it in here. And again, I wanted it to be nice and snug so that it doesn't slide around when you're opening and closing the book. So it fits good in here. If you wanted to trim yours down and make it a different size, you totally can do that. But that's what I did in mine. So there you go. That's just the belly band page and decorating however you'd like. So page 2B will be this left flap that opens and then there's a pocket here. Oh, am I in here? Yes. We don't need that in here. And then these two flaps at the top of the page. Okay. So that is what we'll make next. So flipping this over to 2B, let's get our... <clears throat> so for the left flap, we need a piece of solid cardstock that's seven and a half by seven and a half, and we're gonna score it at a half an inch. We need a pocket that goes in the inside that measures three and a half by eight and a half, and we're gonna score that on three sides. And then um, the top flaps, you'll need a piece of cardstock that measures seven and a half by eight, and we're gonna score that at one half, four and a half, one half and four and a half with eight at the top. So we'll get to that. So let's do all of our scoring first again. So I'll start with the left flap, and it's just a half inch score here. Okay, and then the pocket, which is three and a half by eight and a half that we're gonna score on three sides at one half inch. And then the top flap, 
with the eight inches at the top, which will be this way, we're going to score at one half. and four and a half. Okay, so now we have all of our scores. So we'll start with the left flap, which is folding on the score line. Giving this a little miter here. And on our page, it's going to go like this. Did I do that? Let's see. I'm just opening this to see how I did it. Yes. Okay. So adding glue to the half inch. And then I'm just going to turn it so I can see right to the edge of the page. And I can see, I know that I gotta move it here. There we go. Okay, and then just glue that down. And then I am going to add the, it doesn't matter, either way. I think I'll put the pocket on first just so that's down because we got that extra flap that folds up a couple times. So let's just make the pocket just like we did before, cutting through both those score lines and then at the top. And then just folding. And this is also, you're also going to need magnets for this page. So once your pocket is made, that's going to go right here on the base page, just at the bottom, like so. Make sure you dry fit it first before you glue it in. In case you have to make some adjustments, which it's been done, it happens. So, and I just like to make sure it's not hitting any of the folds. So that's at the bottom. <clears throat> I'm going to leave this now because I want to, before we put any pattern paper down, we still have to put the top flap on. So let's do that before we get any farther with um, any decorating. So fold on your score lines. This is going at the top of our page. <clears throat> And this way. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then just mitering that. Bring our page back in. And so that's going to go at the top. Oops. Did I get my head in there? Sorry if I did that. See, now what I'm looking at here, 
this is right to the edge of my um my my gusset line here so if that happens to you because sometimes it happens you know once you start adding extra things into your pages sometimes you get a little longer i'm going to take this to my trimmer and i'm just going to shave off a smidgen of this edge okay because i can see that it's hitting and i don't want that so i'm just taking off just a little bit so that I have a little more give. I just left it folded and then this is all I took, just that little bit, okay? So now when I line this up at the top of the page, it's not gonna hit this, um, this gusset line here. Sometimes you just have to make adjustments and it works. Just making everything work. <clears throat> so now we're just gluing this to flap to the top. Like so. Just once it's straight, then you just glue it down. And there you have it. So then it opens this way and this way. So then you can decorate how you'd like in there. And then um, now we put the pattern paper down. So starting at the top, what I would do, because I don't want it to go all the way down through my pocket, just to save paper. So I would probably put a piece of pattern paper that is five inches long on here, just to get it down into the pocket a little bit. And then it's gonna be seven and a quarter inches wide. So, um, pattern paper first, then glue your pocket down. Like that. And before you decorate the pocket, remember we need a magnet. So there's a magnet on the, let should close this on the inside of the left flap and on the pocket. So it's gonna go like that. So make sure your magnet, let me see now that I have this all put together. Sorry if I'm wiggling the table. So I'm gonna measure it on this side first because I'm giving myself room to put pattern paper on. So the magnet is probably gonna go like right here. Okay, there we have it. And then the little photo booklet that fits in the pocket, I can give you the measurements for that if you'd like. So I just made one that is six and a quarter inches wide by uh, six and an eighth long and scored it at, I didn't write this down, three and an eighth. So that's what fits inside this pocket here. So that is page 2B, and let me just get this all put back together so that we can continue. So that goes in here, and that closes. Okay, so page 3A is going to be, uh, I think there's a little bit involved in this one. I'm just looking for my in for my glue. So this is the a flap that is on the right hand side that opens this way and again this way, okay? And then it'll be a pocket. And is there a magnet? Yes, there is a magnet here. And then there's also this photo mat here on top that we're gonna make. So let's get into that, page 3A. You will need um, the right flap we need to make first. So you'll need a P3 
piece of solid cardstock that measures seven and a half by 12, and we're gonna score it at one half and at six and a half, okay? And then the pocket that goes on this side in the inside here measures three by eight and a half, and the magnet will go here. And then the photo mat on top, I'm gonna show you how to make that here in a second. Um, you need one piece that measures five and a quarter by six and a half, and we're gonna score it at a half an inch. I'm sorry, see, I say things wrong. We're gonna score it at one inch. I'm so used to saying half an inch. And then um, the mat that goes underneath this one is four and a quarter by six and a half. And then we're gonna put a magnet on there too. Okay, so let's get our scoring out of the way and start with the right flap. So with the 12 inches at the top of your scoreboard, we're gonna score at one half and six and a half. And then let's just get uh, all the scoring done. So the, I'm doing the pocket now, so it's three by eight and a half, and just scoring on three sides at one half inch. And then, what else? The photo mat. The piece that measures five and a quarter by six and a half, we're scoring that at one inch with the five and a quarter at the top. So one inch here. And that is all the scoring we have to do at the moment. So starting with the right flap, We're just folding on our score lines. And when I do this, I get my, my brain gets in a tizzy. And you'll see why in a second, because I have to remember which way to fold it. <clears throat> so this is going to attach on the right. And so I need my fold to go this way. and now all the writing's upside down, see? Okay, so let's take our base page and glue this flap down. Yeah. So I'm just gonna turn it because we're gluing it to the right side of the page here. and all the way to the edge, getting it straight. There we go. Okay, so now it's gonna open like this and like this. So I'm gonna leave that open for a second because now we have our pocket that we're going to glue on this side. So let's make our pocket. And that isn't right, just like that. Folding on our lines. And then our pocket is going to glue to this portion of the page.
and this again I'm doing this the exact same way for my pockets throughout the book I believe I'll know when I get to it so just gluing that down lining it up right next to that score line not on top of it just so that it, that um, gusset has some room to move So again, I would, before I glue my pocket down, I'm going to put my pattern paper down. And so in this case, I would probably make it six inches wide. No. Yes. Five and a half. Five and a half. And then <clears throat> put your tape down here and then glue your pocket down. So pretend we did all that and glue the pocket once you have your pattern paper and your tape. And I'm just doing this so it, otherwise things flop around and it doesn't work very nicely when you're trying to teach somebody how to do things. Okay, so we have our pocket and our flap and then remember we need a magnet before you decorate the pocket so the magnet is going to go here All right let's check let's just check and i'm because i'm pretty sure that's how it works yeah so the magnets here and here <clears throat> So again, it's going to be about like that. And when you close it, it's going to be like this. Now, when I made this, I said, that's kind of, you know, you need room for your pattern paper to glue down. If you wanted to make this pocket a little bit wider this way to give you more room for that magnet, you absolutely could do that. So instead of it being three inches, I'm sorry, two a two inch, because it's a two inch pocket, right? Two and a half inch pocket, sorry. You could make it even a three inch pocket. So this would measure three and a half by eight and a half instead. So you're just adding that little extra room for that magnet to sit if you wanted to do that. Otherwise, that's how that I made mine. And now we have the photo mat on top of the flap so when i made this so it's just going to open and then there's magnets in here um and then when i put this little um i love fishing element on i totally forgot that this was a photo mat that opened <laughs> so every time you open and close it it's getting you know a little worn and i'm like oh no yeah i was just looking at it thinking oh well, that would look cute there, but um, I forgot that it opened, so goodness sakes. So anyway, keep that in mind when you're decorating. So here's, take your first piece of the photo mat that we, that's five and a quarter by six and a half, and we scored it at one half inch. Um, we're going to fold it this way, fold it up, because this is our hinge for our um, photo mat that opens. And then we're gonna glue it down onto this page, like so, like center. And then this photo mat that's four and a half, I'm sorry, four and a quarter by six and a half, that's just gonna go right underneath here. If I had three hands. And that's it, okay? So, Let's glue this down. So with your flap this way, we're gonna add glue on this side. Now I'm giving, this is, um, I learned this technique from Debbie at Project 39 Mini Albums. So Debbie, thank you for that. And I use this in a couple, a couple of ways in this album here too. So um, gotta give credit to Debbie. So now I am just, looking 
top to bottom, right and left. And once you get that straight on your page, just glue that down like that. And then when you open it, this photo mat, you're gonna kinda tuck before you glue, do a little dry fitting because you want it to fit underneath nicely, um, nice and even so that none of the edges are sticking out. Um, so it looks even on here. So once you have that, then you just glue this on. And I'm not gonna use a ton of glue, um, but you will because you're using nicer paper. You'll use more glue than this. And then you're just using your top mat as a guide, first of all. And before you stick it all the way down, you can see if you have to move it around or not. And I have to. I have to. A little bit. So once you have it where you need it, then just push, press that down and glue it down. And there's your photo mat. <clears throat> and now before you decorate your photo mat, again, it's closed with a magnet. So put your magnets on here and here. Okay, and that's that. Page 3A. Page 3B, let's look. <clears throat> excuse me, is this uh, page with the large photo mat here and then these two little flappy pockets with the tags in them. So you will need, oops, I got all my stuff here. You'll need two pieces of solid cardstock that measure three and three fourths by five and a half. And we're gonna score it at a half an inch at the top, okay? So three and three fourths by five and a half, two of those, and two pieces that are four and three quarters by five. And we're gonna make this like a pocket. So we're gonna score on three sides at a half an inch. So to start out, let's get our scoring done. So with the five and a half at the top, we're just scoring in a half an inch. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is, uh, let's finish scoring and then I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. So let's make, Excuse me, I have a frog in my throat. So this is going to be your flap. And then this is, so it's going to go in your page like this and open from this end. So this is going to go on top like so, okay? So I'm turning this upside down so that we have our score line at the bottom so that I know that I need to score on three sides this way. Okay, so I'm going to put the four and three fourths at the top and score it a half an inch. I'm gonna turn it and score it at the bottom a half an inch and turn it one more time and score at a half an inch so that I know I have it in the right direction. Okay, so your other, same thing with your other piece, four and three fourths at the top, yes, yes. Score at a half. Turn it so and score at a half at the bottom. I'm just calling it that so that I know my direction and then another half inch. Okay. So let's get our two pieces here that are going to go this way in our book like so. So let's fold on the score line. And 
then miter that just a little. Now when you're making this, um, I did a lot of dry fitting. This is also a, a trick from Debbie at Project 39 Mini Albums too. Um, she taught us how to do that on one of her tutorials, so I did it. So these are gonna go to right to the edge. So you know, make sure they fit, do a dry fit. I did it several times while I was making my book. And again, I, my paper isn't as nice, so it doesn't cooperate every single time. But this is the idea, okay? So before we glue these down, let's put the pocket piece on, which will be like this. So we're just making a pocket. And I don't remember exactly how Debbie made hers. I just, but I made it this way because I don't remember. I didn't go back and look. Okay, so with the, this is your tab on the right that's going to glue to your book like so, like this. So the pocket needs to attach to your flap with the op pocket opening this way, okay? So let's glue this down, the bottom tab of the pocket. And if you need to turn it, go ahead. So I'm gonna turn it just so that I can line everything up and make sure it's straight, and this isn't, but again, yours will work. I always say that. No one ever tells me any different either. <laughs> if it doesn't, you gotta tell me. So this, okay, once you get it straight on your flap, then just glue the bottom portion of your pocket down. So now you can put your pattern paper in here Okay, so let's do that with the second one because we have two. Oh, we forgot to make the pocket though. I'm sorry. So let's, oops, first we do. I'm sorry, I'm losing it. Make the pocket. It's just the exact same process as we just did. So nothing's cha nothing changes. Okay, so again, with your tab for the flap on the right-hand side, your pocket is gonna go like this, okay? So we're gonna glue the bottom tab of our pocket. And I'm gonna turn it so I can see to line it up just to the edge of that score line. This one looks like it's gonna work a lot easier than the first one. And once you have that, let's glue it down. Okay, so now you have your two flaps with the pocket on top. Now you can put your pattern paper in. And again, this is nice. I'll show you on mine. Sorry. Remember? Tip the glue bottle over a lot while you're doing your project because nothing works if you don't. So the tags are in the inside and I just have a little piece of this green solid um, cardstock and you don't even have to go in very far. I probably use scraps. So just to mat this top little piece that pokes out here, 
Um, so that's all you need is just a little bit of either pattern paper or a solid cardstock of some color, um, however you're decorating. Just That just goes on that little piece right there. So once you get your pattern paper on, you know, in here, then you can glue your pockets down. Oh, put tape on here. Tape your little edge so that things slide out easily. And I just, like you saw, I just made tags. Um, the Graphic 45 tags didn't fit, so I just made my own, and I'll give you the dimensions of those tags here too. Don't let me forget. Oh, if we were live, you guys could say, hey, don't forget. I don't do lives. I'm scared to do that. I can barely get through this a regular video because, you know, I don't edit anything. And thanks for tolerating me for that. <laughs> I'm not going to learn either, I don't think. Okay, so now we have our pockets. And they're just going to glue to the... Uh, right hand side of your page now you can do this a couple of different ways and I realized this after I had already made mine so let me show you what I mean so I glued my flaps right to the edge of the page which depending on how things work out sometimes that could be a little bit of a hindrance I don't know so when I looked back at my other album that I made using this technique the flaps were um, glued to the page a little bit farther in, maybe like an inch. And then there's just a piece of decorative scrapbook paper that, you know, covers up that part. Or you can do it like this. And in my case, it worked out okay. Um, but if you wanted to move them in just a little bit, you can do that too. It's going to work out either way. So I'm just going to show you how I made mine and I'm going to put these right at the top or right at the edge of the page here. So you just glue I'm going to turn it and get it right up to the edge and this and the top of the page also so that they both fit on here straight and nice. Okay, and so just glue that down. And then take your second one and see how they're gonna go like that. And now just up right up against the other one and at the same level here, at the same length here. So make sure they're even when you're gluing them down to your page base. And there you go. So you have your two little flaps with the top pocket, and then you're gonna need magnets to hold them down. So um, you'll put, not there, not here, I just, it's a lot of this was a marker just so I remember to put a magnet on or to tell you to put a magnet on. So it's probably because that's just, this is just decorative paper, pattern paper on the back. So you could do here and here with your magnets, and then they're going to go here and here. And that's it, page 3B. Okay. Um, so yeah, put your flaps on first and your magnets, then your pattern paper. Oh, the tags, I'm gonna tell you what size they are. Aren't I? So they, they're the same size, and they are um, three and three eighths by five and a quarter. Mm, not quite five and a quarter yeah no not quite five and a quarter I think because I was using scraps 
and this length worked out perfectly. So um, it's actually five and three sixteenths, so five and a quarter. Yeah, it'll work. And those just tuck in. Okay, page, what page are we on? Four. Four A. Okay, four A, simple. Um, is just a pocket page with this little photo booklet in the inside. Oh, I'm sorry, it is not. This is a flap. Oh, sorry, burst your bubble. So that we have a flap and another photo mat in the inside. Okay, sorry. So let's get to that. We will need... Sorry, I'm grabbing all my stuff here. Um, a, the left flap, a pocket for on top of the left flap, and then the photo mat that goes in the inside for page 4A. So let's start with the left flap. You'll need a piece that measures seven and a half by seven and a half, and we're just gonna score that at a half an inch. You will need for the pocket a piece that's four and a half by eight and a half, and again, score on three sides, which we will do. And then the photo mat pieces will be six and a quarter by six and three fourths. This one's gonna get scored at, the, we're gonna make a top fold this time. So the top piece is six and a quarter by six and three fourths, and then the mat underneath, which I know I wrote in the wrong direction, five and three fourths by six and a quarter, and it's gonna fit underneath this way, okay? So let's start with the left flap. Get our score marks. So we're just scoring that at one half. And then we're gonna get our score for the pocket. So again, just a half an inch on three sides. And then our photo mat, the top photo mat, that's six and a quarter by six and three fourths. With the six and three quarters at the top, you're gonna score at one inch, okay, to make that fold. So that's all we need for scoring. So let's start with the left flap. And if you'll excuse me for one second, I need to use my tissue. I'm sorry, my nose is running. <laughs> um, the weather here, I live in Minnesota and our summers are sometimes awful. The humidity is so high and we're in like 90 degree weather these past couple of days. So it's hot and humid here and it just messes with my nose. So anyhow, not that you really needed to know that, but I just told you. Um, okay, so the left flap scored half an inch. Let's get our pocket made here. Okay. So a lot of times when I'm making a tutorial or making an album and I need to know something or if I'm following something from someone, I go back to their walkthrough video because that really gives you a lot of information. So use the walkthrough video for this tutorial as well as a guide because then you can see how things are actually laid out. Okay, so the left flap, let is, let's get that down. 
on our base page. So with the, we got the page 4A, our hinges on the left, open side to the right, and then we're going to put this flap down like that. Okay, simple. So right up to that score line there, not on it, just next to it. And once you have everything straight where you need it, glue it down. And then the pocket is going to go on top of this flap here. So again, do a dry fit first because sometimes we have to make adjustments. I know this is hard to see. So let me, maybe if I opened it there, we're just gluing that pocket down, just a regular pocket. Again, starting with that bottom tab of your pocket, gluing it to the right-hand side of that left, or that flap that we just put on making sure it's even, which I'm trying. There we go. And then just glue that down. So now we have our pocket on our flap. And again, I'm going to decorate my page first and then glue my pocket down so I would go in with my pattern paper probably depends maybe I have a scrap or something but you know probably four inches at the most that would be the most I would go okay so once you have your pattern paper down oh and again the tape put the tape in on your little um, edge of your pocket there at the bottom so that things slide in and out nicely so put the tape down before you glue your pocket down. And then glue your pocket down. And you can see mine is a little bit off, but again, it's the paper I'm using. And then the photo booklet that is in here, that slides in here. I just, because I wanted to use this cut apart from the paper bundle, I just made it to fit that. So this piece is eight and three quarters, scored at four and three eighths. So eight and three quarters by six and, what are we at? Six and an eighth, and then scored at four and three eighths if you want it to fit like mine, okay? So that's this first part. So that photo book, and you can tuck it in. You don't have to leave it like mine, but you know, you can put it like this, which was hard to see, but that's why I tucked it in like so. Okay, and then this flap opens, and now I just have a photo mat on this side, and this is the photo mat that goes on the right-hand side of the page. So that's what we're gonna do now. So open your flap. Again, this is just going to be decorated however you want. And this is where the photo mat goes like this. So your first piece is the six and a quarter by six and three fourths with the one inch scored at the top. And we're just gonna fold that up. And then that's just gonna glue in like so. We're just gonna center it. Oh, the decorating. I decorated with a piece of pattern paper first um, before I glue the photo mat on. I don't know if I said that in the other one when we made one like this, but put your pattern paper down and then glue on your um, photo mat because you're going to want to, you know, cover it first. So we're going to just center top to bottom, left and right basically. I think I'm going to leave, I left a little bit more room at the bottom on this one. And then this photo mat underneath 
is the five and three fourths by six and a quarter. So that's just going to sneak under there like so, so, like just like the other one. So we're going to glue it at the top. And then just lining it up. Centering it on your page. You'll already have your pattern paper down like so. Okay. And then this again just sneaks underneath there like this. And then when you glue it, you just got to make sure it's straight so that it doesn't peek out underneath. Okay. So before you glue it down really tight, use the top flap as your guide and I need to go up with mine. It looks like a little and you can there's room to tuck underneath that flap. So well, look at that. It's crooked. Isn't it? So anyway, you're just straightening it out however it needs to straighten out. I'll get there. I'll get there. It's getting there. Okay, there. And then just glue that down. And then again, you're gonna use magnets. So you're gonna have a magnet on this one and on this one. Okay, so before you put your photo mats on, or your pattern paper, whatever you're decorating with. Um, so on here, I just used a cut apart, put some of that blue gingham at the top and some of that solid blue here, and then I made photo mats like that. And so there's a magnet, where's the magnet? Here and down here, okay? So that is page 4A. Page 4B, we have, oops, um, two flaps, right and a left that open like so, and then another one of these flip up photo mats in the inside, okay? So let's do that next. Page 4B. So we will need, I'm just getting all my supplies here for you. So the left flap measures four and a half by seven and a half, and we're gonna score it at a half an inch. The right flap is six by seven and a half, scored at a half an inch. And then we have a photo mat for the uh, inside, the top part where we fold it, or where we, yeah, score it at an inch. The top mat is five and a half by seven, and we're gonna score it at one inch, like this, are we? So it flips up, yes. So it flips this way. And then the photo mat for underneath, that is six by six and a half, okay? So let's start with our scoring again. So let's do our flaps. So we have the left flap with the four and a half at the top, score it at a half an inch. And then the right flap with the six at the top, you can either score it at five and a half or turn it around and score it at a half an inch. And then we have our photo mat that we need to score. So with the seven inch at the top of the page, score at one inch. Okay. So let's start with the two flaps. I'll start with the left flap first.
and there will be magnets. So there's the left flap and then the right flap. We're gonna score and miter that. Okay, so let's get those on. <clears throat> on our base page. So we have our hinge now is on the right. So let's put the left flap on first. Okay, so it's gonna go like so. Going this down. All the way to the edge of the page there. Okay, and then the right flap, because that one's gonna go on top of our left flap also. I turn the page so I can um, line that up and then use your other flap as your guide for making things straight. And once you have that, you can just glue that down. Now, there's a couple of options for decorating on this page 4B. This is how I did it. I used one of the larger cut aparts, double matted it, and then I put my magnet here. The magnet's gonna go here anyway, but if you close yours like I did mine, you're gonna put your other your magnet on this little piece of the cut apart that stick that pokes out when you open it, okay? So the magnet goes here and here, like that. If you didn't wanna use the cut apart, then your magnet would go on this part of the flap and on this part of the flap here, okay? So however you wanna do that, just make sure you get your magnets on before you're decorating. Um, so when you make this with the cut apart, you know, put your cut apart on your pattern paper or your solid card stock if you're double matting it. Um, and then you glue it to your page, flip it open, and then put your magnet down here and then however it lands on this flap here and then decorate, okay? So we have our flaps now and we're going to put the photo mat in. I'm gonna show you this photo mat, how this one goes. So I'm just gonna make sure I can get you all in the camera here. So you can see when you open it, it's got a little extra pattern paper that shows, okay? And then the photo mats are just a little bit different sizes. And you can make these however you want. Um, if you wanna make them full photo mats without the decorative paper, you know, here and here. Well, this is kind of the point of making it this way so you can see the decorative paper, but on in the inside, um, you can't, but this is how I did it. So let me, let's get the photo mat on and then I can give you some measurements too on what sizes these photo mats are as far as the decorating goes, okay? So it's going to be in the inside of this flap, yes. So take your top photo mat and five, the five and a half by seven that we scored at one inch. And we are just going to fold this up so we can glue it. Okay, and now we also have the six by six and a half. So when we're gluing this on, we're gonna put this top mat a little bit more to the right 
so that we have a little bit of the bottom mat sticking out on the page, okay? So we're gluing this one inch tab. And that's gonna go probably about right. Oh, put your pattern paper down. Don't forget to do that. Put your pattern paper down and then put your start gluing your photo mat. So I'm just gonna put it right about here and quite a bit to the top. Okay, and I'm gonna get this as straight as I can and then just glue that top piece down. And then underneath, this is the six by six and a half. So this edge of your photo mat is going right to the edge of the top mat here. Okay, so that you have that little bit showing at the bottom. Or I'm sorry, that little bit showing to the left. So I'm just lining this up with the edge of the top mat here. And I can, I'm can i trying to get it straightened out. So I'm gonna tuck this, You need if you need to tuck it under, you can do that too, just to make it fit as like you need it. And using your top mat as a guide, I'm a little bit crooked, so I just need to move just a smidge like so and there once you have it in then you just glue it down okay so let me show you let me give you some measurements here in case you want to make it like i did so the photo mat on this top on the top flap is four and a half by five and seven eighths. And then I just decorated with some of this gingham paper here. And then the photo mat at the top, underneath the top flap, is four and a half again. Four and a half by five and seven eighths and then decorate it again like this. And then the bottom mat, photo mat, this craft, this is what I'm measuring, is five and an eighth by five and seven eighths. And then decorated with this piece. So you'll need a piece of decorative paper, uh, pattern paper. This is all, I probably, again, it measure it's looking like it's one and three sixteenths. That's what I had. So I mean you'll have to just so it is, you know, a little bit underneath the photo mat, and then you know, obviously you want it to show on the side. Okay, so that is all of our pages, you guys. We got them. The flips and flaps and pockets are all in, except for now. Let's do um the inside covers okay so which is just a pocket and the side mat so inside on the back cover inside back cover inside front cover made exactly the same just a pocket okay and those measure um four and a half by eight and seven eighths so again, we're scoring at one half inch on three sides, half, half, and half. And don't leave me yet because I am um, going to make the, I should tell you about the, the um, photo mats for the side pockets too. So bear with me. We're just about done. 
I hope I didn't forget anything. Um, that's always my fear is that I forget to say something or I don't catch myself if I say something wrong. So if you catch me, let me know and then we can fix it in the comments. Okay, so here's um, your pockets for both the front and back inside covers. So that's just going to go um, be before you put your pattern paper down. You're just going to glue your pocket down to your page. Just do the flat, do this bottom tab first, glue that down. Tape, put tape and then measure down for your pattern paper. So I probably was, um, I did about well, maybe five inches on this one. So um, I used a piece of the, um, car the scrapbook paper that was, you know, the larger scene. So these two pieces, or these two mats are from the same piece of um, pattern paper. So I just use the top and then the bottom portion of that. If you look, if you watch the walkthrough video, I hope you did, you'll see I talk about this mix up here. Okay, so this is for the inside front and back cover pockets. I don't need to show you um, the back part because it's the same. And then we have, all of the pages have these photo mats that slide out of the side and those are six and three fourths by seven and a quarter and I rounded the quarters on mine and so when you once you have it then the you the seven and a quarter is that way so it's going to go in like that and you'll figure that out when you're trying to Put them in but remember if you're decorating you got to make sure if you're decorating like I did you're gonna have to remember which direction they slide into the pocket okay so they slide in this way okay so the photo mat six and a quarter I'm sorry six and three fourths by seven and a quarter for all four of the side pockets and that is it so we have finished with the flips and flaps and pockets and all kinds of things. Again, if I missed anything, please tell me. Or if I screwed something up, let me know. I'll be happy to try and help you <laughs> fix it and everybody else, I guess, if I need to in the comments. Um, so if you have any questions about anything, um, please let me know also in the comments. Again, watch through the walkthrough video. I'm trying to pick up my pen for the glue. Um, the walkthrough video um, and then the cover, making the cover and the base pages is another tutorial. This tutorial and then um, gluing the pages to the spine. So there's all of those. So I encourage you to watch the walkthrough first. Do that first and then you'll know what you're getting into. Um, let me know what you think of this album. I'd love some comments on, you know, what people think. I don't get that a lot, so I don't know what you're thinking. So tell me what you think of the album. If you're thinking about making one for yourself, um, let me know that. I'd love to hear that. So if you'd like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And those of you that have subscribed, I am so grateful for that. Um, my channel is growing, um, slowly, but it's growing. I don't get to post very often. So, um, I love to share my projects. This is one of the, my most favorite thing to do is to share with you guys what I'm making and all that stuff. So thank you so much for subscribing. Um, and as always, thank you for watching.